Welcome Gemini, I'm Juanita and we're going to have a look at the next two weeks for you and just what it is you need to work on or you know what's going on for you right now. Okay so I'll just chuck these down here. Now we are using the Enchanted Map and the Gilded Tarot. Yes I did change it up. I must have been leading to it which is why I had the sense last fortnight and now we're changing it up. So let's get going. Golden Palace. Interesting, Gemini. Interesting. Golden Palace. Just show you here. It's okay. Sorry, Gemini. Getting a few things here because I'm seeing. I feel like this is about what is it that you want to build for yourself, right? Like your empire type of thing. But I actually feel like this is more about internally. Like what is it that you want to build inside of yourself? Like what do you want that garden to look like? I feel like this is a new way for you to look at that because it's like you've gone through your life and you're grown, right? And we kind of like get created in a sense through, you know, our environment and, and, and our parents or our carers and what goes on around us at school and da-da-da, right? Work, whatever. Relationships, friendships, siblings you know our relationships with our siblings and all that jazz and I feel like now it could be looking at what it is that you want to actually grow yourself within yourself how do you want hmm, you want yourself to be very interesting that is definitely looking at you know what do you want to cut out of your life wow and we've got the Two of Swords underneath here. Wow, Gemini, what do you want to cut out of your life? What do you want to put an end to? It's like, yeah, because looking at all these, these vines and that here, because it's as though it, this is what um, you could potentially grow or, or you would like to have um, kind of like, how would I put it, like um, vibrate or, or um, shine out from inside of you, right? But there's all this, this bush here and all these vines and everything. Um, so it's kind of like that, like cutting that out. And I'm wondering if for some of you, you're not quite sure how it is that you go about that. Okay, because this is really, really about this new beginning of, um, and, and even with the death card, like this is a major new beginning here, Gemini, like a major. <laughs> you can't get any more major than that. <laughs> well, maybe you could. The tower could be here too, but it's not. Um, sorry, getting a little bit excited here. Yeah, so like, you know, I feel like this is really about this triumph over, you know, really hard things in your life, right? And um, and this inner strength, yeah, and and bringing through this this mental clarity that doesn't seem to really exist here, okay? And kind of cutting that out, I feel like potentially is the case like taking this this because also this is golden here and this is like this golden empire here and it's so it's like taking that off in a sense yeah this is super interesting gemini already okay flying getting out of the maze getting out of the maze rising up seeing a different perspective looking at things from a um from higher ground, I feel, 
potentially okay like looking at where is that I want to go like I want to build this empire so kind of looking at the end result and then stepping back step by step by step to see how you actually get there um, and it could be that you're in a situation Gemini where you can see how you could get there and so right now it could be about you yes you've had your celebration and you're all excited um, and now it's coming back down to earth to work out okay this is how we need to get here now and really grounding yourself okay so let's have a look any more for flying for gemini let's have a look here strength i love this and the chariot oh gemini You know, Gemini, this may very well be about being tapping into this inner strength for you, okay? Um, which, you know, kind of like is like this, you know, look at this flying thing and you've got strength here and the chariot, right? Like, like that's pretty cool. You've even got, you know, you've got this psychedelic flying horse, for goodness sakes. Like, wow. <laughs> That is pretty cool, right? If you want to be flying anyway, it's on a psychedelic flying horse. <laughs> um, but, you know, the thing is that, like, you know, this this chariot, again, is this triumph over really, really hard times. Um, so it feels as though um, whatever you've been through, Gemini, that, you know, there's there's kind of like this need to sort of go, okay, being really gentle with yourself, um, being really, really patient, but also allowing that inner strength to come through, if that makes sense. Okay, celebrating that in a sense of, of owning it, owning that that's what you possess inside okay balancing act interesting may not feel like things are really on a solid ground right now for you it may feel as though you are for some of you walking a tightrope and I'm just wondering if this could be to do in, with your emotions like this could be emotionally you may not feel quite um do you know what sorry just interrupted this here I feel like this could be a type of chariot like standing on something but it's like you're pulling something along, like you want to head in this direction here, sorry, this direction, but this has still got some kind of link to you, it's like there's this cord that's pulling you back, and it's like you have to be so careful how you go along, because if you move too fast, or there's any sudden jolt, that that ship is going to fall off, it's like this balancing, this very delicate balancing act, what is this about? Tell me more about this for Gemini, this balancing act. Yeah, moving forward. It's like there's been one step forward. Well, three steps forward because this is the three, right? But it's like you've made the decision to move forward. And you can see the light. There's still something holding you back, Gemini. There's still something holding you back. So there's been progress, but there's still this thing behind you. What is this thing behind you? We've got the Page of Swords. So is this a person? I don't know if it is. Or is it that you don't want to upset a child in your life? By moving forward, maybe that could be the case for some of you. Um, could it be your inner child? Is this what's holding you back? 
is it your inner child? Interesting. Uh huh. Okay. Bone collector. Man, Gemini. Bone collector. It could be things from your childhood that are holding you back. This could be about childhood trauma. It's still burning you. It's kind of like for some of you, Gemini, you put on this happy face. Like, actually, this trauma potentially, or there's something that's happened in your childhood which you had to grow up super quick. And um, some of you may very well still be living from that inner child, like that inner child still feels like it's having to lead the way and it's really scary. Um, and it's like, it's like this emotional roller coaster. Well, not even a roller coaster because you can't even drop the, the ball. You can't drop the ball. Um, for others of you, this could very well be a child in your life that is very impacted by something that happened when they were younger. Um, this could be a marriage separation that's impacting a child. Um, yeah, and there's, there's kind of this feeling of this need for safety for some reason. It's like not wanting to delve into anything too deep because you are wanting to create this new potentially well this it's like you're wanting to recreate yourself though Gemini you want to recreate yourself but this thing's pulling at you it is pulling at you six of pentacles right it's like It's kind of like you want to, oh, do you know what? I feel like there could be someone in your life that's feeding you breadcrumbs, actually, for some reason. Um, but in saying that, Gemini, oh, that's all I can get from that card. And that's not usually what I get from that card, but that's what I feel like is the case here. What's going on with this bone collector, please? Tell me more about this bone collector. It's like someone's got plenty of, you know, this could, if this is an ex relationship or even family, it's like, you're just getting dished out only what it's like someone's got plenty to give but they're only giving us a, a certain amount interesting i'm not sure why that six of pentacles has come up with that message with the bone collector though i'm not i'm not making that connection there but let's let's keep going and see what else magician the bone collector Okay, this is recreating again, recreating your life. Um, Nine of Cups, this is what you want to head towards here. This is your wishes, this is your dreams. These are your dreams. Maybe it is that you have everything that you need in order to get to where you want to go, Gemini. Um, you have everything you need. There could be some unresolved issues that are just nagging at you, though. There could be things that need tying up. Whew. Making me work for it. Tell you. Yep. 
still things that are um, hidden. These could be even hidden memories. These could be things that you're not wanting to address, that you're wanting to keep in the dark. Um, but there's just this wisdom about you. How do I even show you that? Sorry. I kind of feel like there's... It's kind of like, I want to say you're halfway there. I want to say you're halfway there, Gemini. But it's kind of like at a really rough part of the road that you just don't want to walk down. And this is where it gets tough. This is where it gets really tough. Okay, we've got, hang on, we've got too many cards pop up here. But this the Wheel of Fortune has jumped out at me, which was on the top. So, you know, things are turning now. It's like you're halfway there and the wheel is turning, but it's kind of like when you're underneath and you're at the bottom of the wheel is when it's to the hardest, I guess. Yeah, so let's have a look. Moonlight for Gemini, moonlight for Gemini. The lovers. Gemini, which is your card, right? This is your card. This is you raising up this is you about to turn make that turn and come up and raise into the light rise up into the light right that golden palace is rising up out of here yeah page of wands okay gemini okay so this is really 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 good news and this Turn, this could be a turnaround in a child. If this is re relating to a child in your life, they could do a, a bit of a turn and, and actually kind of like, yeah, be a bit more. Because look at the difference between these two here. This one's looking pretty sad. And this one's, you know, is, is a lot happier. So, you know, um yeah maybe there's some kind of turnaround there um three cups we've got three cups celebration okay there's gonna be cause for celebration so this is really cool i think with the moonlight as well it's like you just can't see it yet it hasn't been brought to the light but it is coming up to into the light okay um the light is starting to shine on the situation I've put the three of cups back because I really did pull far too many cards there, but that's okay. Stuck in the mud. Gemini stuck in the mud. Um, I feel as though for some of you, you have been stuck in the mud, but now you see the elephant's lifting up its leg and I feel like it's you're becoming unstuck. So, yeah, this could very well be that you have been dealing with these things and now you're becoming unstuck, stuck in the mud. Temperance. Yeah, see, things are balancing out now. Things are, um, it's kind of like, um, how do I even put it? Like, you are... Like, I'm, I'm getting balance, but there's, there's just more to it than that. And it's sort of like you're able to see, oh, what's that saying? You're able to see the 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 moon for the sun. Is that even it? That's not it. No. Um, I think you're able to see progress now. And part of this, I feel like, um, Gemini, is that even if you are seeing progress right now, even if it's this change in this child, um, and this could be your inner child, okay, that just don't get too far ahead of yourself, okay? Um, make sure that you're still taking things step by step by step, okay? And um, this could be about you working out Firstly, what it is that you want to take forth with you? What do you want to take with you going forward? 
in a sense, right? And what do you want to leave behind? And whatever it is that you choose to leave behind, to not focus on that. Okay? Um, yeah. Because I feel like you're kind of heading in a certain direction and um, or this light is starting to shine or you're starting to see the end of the path or how the path is actually going maybe um, and you have an idea of how that is going to end up but it might not go quite as you believe it will or you might think, think things are going to be bad but they're not going to be as bad as what you think. Okay, this is chipped. This card is chipped. Mm. Someone might have a chip on their shoulder with your progress. We have, what does it say? Listening. Listening. Okay, interesting it's an elephant again. Hey, anyway. Okay, so... This is about you needing to stop and just quieten down and listen. This could be listening to other people or actually tapping inside of you, listening to your inner child and what your inner child needs. Okay. Um, it could also be you listening to your heart and what your heart wants, Gemini. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and I, too many cards again, I really feel like that will help to bring things into balance here for you, okay, um, the other thing I just want to go back and say, with this moving forward and being stuck in the mud, it's like, because, see here, he's got one foot out, and I feel like with the temperance card, it's kind of like having one foot in and one foot out. It's like you want to move forward, but maybe you haven't quite completely let go of what it is you need to let go of, like you haven't turned away of what it is that needs to be let go of yet. And the same with the balancing card. She's still looking back to the ship to make sure it's in balance. And he's still looking at these swords here, these things that he's chosen to cut away, these things that are done and dusted. But there's still this focus on these things, okay? So it's time to listen to this heart and um, and because you do want to move forward. But um, it's about just taking some rest from that, I suppose, and not um, letting that keep tugging at you sorry okay listening what else for listening does Jim and I need to know what else for listening please oh, oh I've got one card oh no two cards here excellent wheel of fortune oh see it's turning things are turning for you okay a little bit of rest, yep, going within, maybe having a rest. Like, if there's anything that you're deciding on, not to act in haste and to actually maybe just sleep on it. So if it's like, oh, yeah, this thing, you know, what what do you think about this or, or what are we going to do about that? It's like, let's do this. It's like, no, you know, you might make that decision and know which way you want to sway. But just take your time, sleep on it. And see how you feel in the morning, okay? This is also about healing, taking the time to heal, okay? After this battle, after being through what it is that you have been through, Gemini, taking the time to heal, okay? And I do feel like that that um, wheel is turning on this healing bow. And so maybe it's been the case that you have been taking the time to heal. And now it's time to listen to what your heart wants, okay? with this healing you may have done that and you're like okay now I want to move forward let's go let's go let's go let's just fly like a psychedelic friggin horse um that can fly and uh, is that even a unicorn maybe could be anyway um you know it's it really is about just taking taking a moment okay Gemini because I know it's like exciting let's do it intention 
intention okay yeah 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 see sitting on the egg letting it warm right not flying too soon not flying the coop too soon and letting the egg you know which has yet to birth it's like something's yet to birth but it just still needs to be kept warm okay and with this dandelion here this is so cool I love this that this dandelion has shown up here um, because the field is also full of dandelions and the wise old owl is holding the dandelion in his mouth. So it's like, you know how you have a dandelion and you blow on it and you make a wish and then you let the, it all just go and land where it lands. It's that kind of thing. Of It's like you have the dandelion, it's like, okay, so what do I want to wish for? You know, I've gone and built all this up. I've laid the egg how what 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 do I want it to look like when the egg hatches? So this is kind of at the stage where you're at, which is why listening to your heart is so very important and taking that time to go within and truly listen. And notice these swords up here are, are pointing towards the heart, and this one sword here is like this ace, ace of swords. He's put this sword down and he's going within to really listen to the heart, to see what it is, what intention he wants to set now. Gemini. Ten of Swords. It's done. It is done, finished, completed, Gemini. It's all done. It's really like putting these Ten of Swords to rest. And I suppose looking at what still needs to be dealt with, you know. This is, you know, and this could even be that whatever didn't, didn't go your way. Um, you know, this could be these, these Three of Swords here. Um, you know, that still just need to be dealt with. But I do feel like with this here coming up with the intention card, um, this is important because it's making sure that all these, all this heartache and all this, this healing that needs to be done will be put to rest. And the fact of the matter, like if this, if this is to do with childhood trauma, it changes us, right? It changes you to the point where you you end up this different person, you know, than what you otherwise would have been. There's no doubt about that, right? Um, and so given that you are who you are, what is your intention for yourself now? Because it's... It, it's kind of like rebirthing yourself. Rebirthing yourself into who you want to be, Gemini. And this here, it doesn't serve you. So, um, you know, birthing yourself into who you want to be regardless of this. And that's not to minimise it or be like, oh, it never happened. What are you on about? Nothing like that at all. Um, yeah, one more card for intention, though. For Gemini and, and kind of getting curious about how you do want to rise up how do you want to rise up here and look at this this is the sun you know going from this to this yeah setting your intention to head this way here which I really feel like you're probably doing Gemini um, but I just want to see if there's one more card for intention for you Gemini because I just want a bit more insight into that. Any more card for intention for Gemini? No. Okay. Talisman. This is you on your path. This is you on your path, Gemini. And it's going to be windy and sometimes you're not going to be sure. And this is a whole brand new path. How exciting. And you've got your talisman here to help you. That's like having a compass, right, sort of thing, to help you lead the way, to help guide you on your way, Gemini. 
but starting this Gemini it's been quite a vulnerable journey um, and you've taken a lot to get here you've taken heaps to get here um, and you yeah this has been a battle man you have been in the wars you have been in the wars but this is where it gets exciting now this is where you can pat yourself on the back and go good job Good bloody job, man. You did good, Gemini. Yeah, you did good. You can put these down now. It is done. It is over. You are on your way, Gemini. You did good. And honestly, to be honest with you, I'm proud of you. You did good. So, yeah. Uh, one more card for Talisman. One more card for Gemini, please. One more card. Here we go. What have we got? Two of ones. This is you on your path. Right? On your path, Gemini. Making the progress, making this new life for yourself that you totally deserve. And you can do it. You can do it. You know, you've got the sun here. You've got the lovers here. You've got all sorts of wonderful cards here. You're completely on your way. So, yeah. Keep going, Gemini, because you are doing really well. Okay, Gemini, take care of yourselves. Please subscribe and, and, you know, comment and like and share and all that jazz. And maybe this will help someone. Okay, thanks, Gemini. See you. Bye-bye.